Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a wee bit about, um, <coughs> excuse me, just a wee leggy bit about pattern. Dead handy to put together, great fly, great fly to have in your box. So the hook in the vise is a size 10, standard heavy weight wet fly hook. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in black. So we'll just come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Just going to lash on a bit of thread here, round about down to the middle of the shank the hook and remove the waist tag of thread. The rib on the fly is going to be a small oval silver tinsel. So let's get a length of this off. Going to offer this up to the hook. And then we'll just tie it in the way down. Now, the body of the Bibio, quite simple, black, red, black, now I'm going to use seals fur, you don't have to use seals fur, you can use any dubbing that you have, this is just uh, genuine seals fur in black, so we'll just take a pinch, stub it on, like I say, don't have to use seals fur, you can use any dubbing you have, opossum, SLF, whatever you've got. Now, up to there, anything that's going forward, sweep it back, a couple of turns in front, then we'll come in with the red. Slice it on, and put the wee slacks in the flies for a young lad who is taking up fly fishing. And I'm going to give him these flies once I'm finished now. Same again up there, stroke it back, a couple of turns in front, and you just come back in with your black. Help the kid out. Hopefully, the flies get him a couple of nice trout and get him hooked for life. Lash on the, the black, anything that's going forward. Stroke it back, bring your thread in front. Now, at this stage, I'm going to put a body haggle on. And the body haggle is just going to be a black uh, cock saddle haggle. So, I'm going to get a nice haggle here. Deep, 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 deep. This one there. I'll bring away the rubbish at the bottom. Just strip away some of the fibers to burr the stem. Just offer this up to the fly. Or up to the hook, sorry, come around with a couple of tight turns, catching that in. Then you can come in and trim away your stem. Then we'll just palmer this. Now, when I palmer my hackles down flies, I like to get two or three turns at the shoulder of the fly, meaning the top. Now, I'm going to take a wide sweep. I don't want to cover all my red. And then get a couple of turns at the back, under the back body. Then you can come around with your oval silver tinsel to your rib and you're looking four turns another wide sweep don't want to cover the red so basically what I'm doing there is putting two turns of the oval silver tinsel onto the first part of the body taking a wide sweep because I don't want to cover the red and then another two turns the oval silver tinsel on the front part of the body now keeping this tight just going to stroke everything back bring the oval silver tinsel up to the front follow it around with your thread a couple of tight turns in there that will secure this in and you can come in and remove the excess just going to come in with my scissors and remove the tip now at this stage I want to rough this up a bit this is just a bit of velcro on an alley pop stick now if you've tied in your rib right nice and tight you should be able to do this you should be able to give us a good old hiding thread to the eye and back up tight against the haggle. Now I'm going to put on some pre knotted pheasant tail legs at this stage. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And this is them dyed red. Now I just buy these direct from Vanyard but 
you can get them in your your tackle shop or what you can do is get a pheasant tail yourself and you can sit and knot them it's up to you I'm just trying to get six good legs off here three for each side so just bear with me because sometimes you get these and they're, they're broke yeah, got them here so it's going to offer these down the, onto the sides of the hook so we'll come in with a couple of loose turns then tighten up so I'm going to bring these into length let's pull them through and I want to check I want to see how far past the hook that I am right, I'm happy with that so I want to tighten up then I want to come in and trim away the excess bring my thread down over the cut ends with the pre knotted fasten tail legs I think it's going forward just sweep it back bring my thread back up tight against those now last is I'm going to put a hand haggle on the front this is just a black hand haggle um, just a, this is just a cheap Indian hand cape that I bought and then I dyed it black myself so I'm just going to stroke back the fibres reveal the tip offer this up to the fly or the hook sorry again come around with a couple of turns fold back your tip and tie this in and then come in locate the tip and break it away hey, this being a hand haggle you can just stroke it back with your your fingers just on a, a few turns just want to check it's going to be enough there for me it's going to come around the turn catch it in I'm gonna fold everything back get my thread turns up over the top of the stem now usually I'll strip away the the fibers on the stem but on this occasion I haven't needed to because there wasn't too much bulk at the head to begin with now keeping your thread tight you can break away the stem of the haggle then you can come in with your whip finishing tool And just the one I whip finish. Put your thread tight. Come in. Trim away your tan thread. Right. I'm going to be looking at the fly. Yep, looking good. Just to finish off. We coat of varnish onto the head. Right, don't worry if you get it under the eye. Just going to apply straight round the, the head. We'll come in and clear that out in a second. Make sure there's plenty of varnish around it to hold the wee fly together. Just got a bit of waste wire on my desk here. I'm just going to come in and just clean the eye out. Just make sure it's well cleaned. And there you go guys. Simple enough wee pattern. And you definitely not go wrong with that wee fly. Um, good wee pattern. The Blackie Bibio. Good colours especially for the brown trout so look guys if you haven't got that in your box tie a few up get some in your box it will catch you a few fish as always many thanks for taking the time to view the video and tight lanes